we're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, blessed new season. Blessed new season. And I'm saying that distinctively and for a purpose, okay? So I wanted to come on tonight because I have some big announcements, okay? So I'm going to get to the announcement first. But in the vein of the announcements, there is something that um, is good for you all, okay? So I posted inside of the Glory School community, you may or may not have seen it, but I posted in there to start thinking about people that need a miracle, okay? And I said, think about family members, so forth and so on that need a miracle. So the reason why I wanted you to do that is because Father is bringing us into a new season. That's why I said new season, blessed new season, okay? And this season is starting, well, it's already started, but officially for you, it's going to be January the 8th, write these dates down, Kingdom Greetings, January the 8th through February the 8th, all right? It's going to be 30 days of miracles, January 8th to February the 8th. Who do you know that needs a miracle blessings blessings all right so father is leading us into this for you your family your friends your colleagues your business partners it's for anybody that needs a miracle okay so you don't have to tell me any names you don't you can tag people but you really don't have to i put the links okay right at the top of this video so they are up there for you Hungry for Miracles, okay, is the link that this is in reference to Hungry for Miracles. You'll see it right up there at the top. Okay, so get somebody in mind, and that's why I want you to share. Please, if you haven't shared, go ahead and share. You know you know somebody that needs a miracle. It's just that plain and simple, okay? Somebody needs healing. And I'm talking about somebody needs supernatural provision. Somebody needs something unexplainable, all right, that can't be done by man, something that only God himself can do, all right? So share on your timeline, please. All right, I appreciate that. Now, I want to share a little bit in reference to the season, okay? Now, we say that, this is what we say. We say the sons of Issachar knew the times and the seasons, right? And that's true. However, they not only knew the times and the seasons. Guess what? Guess what they also know? They know how to take back. I know, Sana. Take back what the king thought, the demonic kings thought they would be able to control. I'm talking about Daniel 7. And 25, that passage of scripture explains how the kings thought to change. Zeni Silvana, times and seasons. That too, Shana. What that tells you is how powerful your thoughts are. Now, if a demonic king, king here is a leader, all right? If a demonic king can simply think about changing a time or season, how much more could you do? As a child of Oriazuma, of the King of Kings, of the Lord of Lords. Sila, Sila, just the thought can change your time and your season, okay? So that's also what the sons of Issachar know how to do. They don't just discern the times and the seasons, but they know how to change the times and the seasons, all right? And this is the grace that I'm speaking of from Daniel 7 and 25. Daniel 7 and 25. The grace to change times and seasons. They have retrieved this ancient grace. All right. And the Suvana. All right. And they're now operating in it. Now. Wow. 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 So your time and your season will change. Hear me. Your times and your seasons will change during these 30 days of miracles from January the 8th, 2020 to February the 8th, 2020. Your time and your season will change. Your atmosphere, my father, will 
change. Okay. Now, when I say atmosphere, I'm talking about welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm talking about your molecular and the cellular structure around you. That's what I'm talking about. You will come into your season of glory. Now, for those of you who have been following, you know that many, 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 many years ago, God told me to move the cloud. Well, wow. The cloud has already moved. But listen to this. Not only has it moved, but the structure, the atmosphere of the cloud has changed. Okay. It's been moved. And how? By prayer. Okay. That's what I've been doing. Praying. Mushana. The prayer has changed the atmosphere into an atmosphere of miracles. All right. So we have an entire retinue with us. Okay. And you will see him move miraculously for you, for your loved ones, for your friends, for your colleagues, for your business associates, your partners, whoever, whosoever will. Okay. There will be miracles. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. And you're going to be led out of where you've been <clears throat> because we are accompanied by a strong army of God's angelic hosts. Okay. So that's 30 days of miracles. Welcome everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Mema Suva, welcome. All right. So that's what that's about. Now, I want to go on a little further here, okay? Because I've already laid the foundation. I hope you're keeping up with me. Hope you're keeping up with me in the spirit. What have I said? I said that there are kings that have been graced with an ancient grace to do what? To not only know the times and the seasons like the sons of Issachar's it's a car, but to change the times and the seasons. And then I said that based on that, your season and your time will change the cellular and the molecular structure around you, around your life, around everything that concerns you and whoever else will be a part of this 30 days. Okay. Of miracles will change. All right. I said, the cloud is moved. And not only has it moved, but the structure of the cloud, the glory cloud specifically, has changed. And it's changed to one of miracles. Okay? And I said, we're led by a host. All right? You're coming out. Whoever this is for, you're coming out. Okay? You're coming out. You're coming out. I have some oars in the spirit. O-A-R-S. And I'm in a boat. And I'm going to be paddling you out. Leading you out. The captives will go free. Okay. The captives will go free. Now the sound. Okay. It's not just an atmosphere. The sound has gone before us. Okay. Now when I say that, where am I getting all this from? What do I mean by that? Okay. The sound has gone before us and it has gone into the homes of those who will request, request a miracle. Those who need a miracle. Okay. Now, let me say something about this. Okay. I'm getting all this in prayer. Okay. I'm literally telling you what he's been telling me. I'm telling you what he's been telling me. Okay. So let me expound on what I mean by the sound has gone before us and has gone into the homes of those that will be requesting a miracle. Okay. I need a miracle and I'll show you how to request that in a second. The link is actually up top. All right. It's up top. Top of the subjects. Okay. Now, let me say this. Let me, the best way to explain this is like this. Okay. In Glory Tour, Texas, there was a woman who attended and a sound went forth. Okay. The grace for this was opened up then and the sound went forth and she got back home <clears throat> and her mother, who had been sick with some sort of throat bacteria. And I want to peek at my notes for two years. It was for two years. She had a throat bacteria. Okay. She had went to eight doctors, eight doctors. Okay. And I'm just looking at my notes. I want to get all the details of this accurately. She went to eight doctors and they tried everything. The doctor even told her, we've tried everything. Okay. She couldn't get rid of this so-called 
throat bacteria. Okay, so she came to glory to her. Then she got home. <clears throat> That's right, Kalima. She got home and um, she heard the same sound coming from heaven into her mother's bedroom. We weren't there. Nobody touched her. Nobody laid hands on her. Nobody spoke in tongues. We were all the way in the Northeast. She's all the way out in Texas somewhere. Okay, so I was probably doing whatever he had me doing, but her mother was not on my radar. Well, as soon as the sound, okay, came into her home, immediately she was healed. So when I'm telling you that the sound has gone before us, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, there's gonna, not going to be a whole bunch of fanfare, okay, to this 30 Days of Miracles, all right? What he has been doing privately with us, you're going to be able to experience it publicly, all right, but also privately in your own home, all right? So there's two dimensions to this, all right? You're not going to have to leave your house. You're not going to have to go sit in a prayer line. Wow. There's not going to be any hoopla, form, fashion, hype. You're not going to have to spin around five times. You're not going to have to turn to your neighbor. You're not going to have to get on a plane. You're not going to have to spend any money. Okay. He's coming to your home. He's already come with a sound. He's coming with a sound. That sound's going to bring forth miracles. That sound's going to bring forth healing. That sound's going to bring forth deliverance. That sound's going to bring forth what you, your family, and everyone connected to you needs. That's what the sound is going to do. My God. And it comes from heaven. It comes from heaven. It comes from Wow! Wow! Hey, Shere Azara! Oh, So remember now, I said what I say. I said the cloud. Hey, Shere has been moved. And it's changed, right? So we're talking, think, we're talking atmospheres. My God. Okay, he opened this up to us at this tour stop, all right? Now look, there were rainbows. I'm talking rainbows. I'm talking record-breaking floods. I'm talking fire, hail. Masiana. And I'm also talking about the uncovering and the indictment of 96 people that were engaged in false marriage covenants. Okay. So this is the grace. All right. That I'm talking about in terms of changing times and seasons. Now, when I say seasons, I don't want you to be thinking about fall, winter. Wow, my God. Summer, Shuvana. I don't want you to be thinking about the common, it's your time, it's your season. No, he's talking about it could be winter in the natural. My Shuvana. Oh, up. And then all of a sudden, motion in there. It starts hailing. Okay, it starts hailing. Mm, my God. Or it's summer and it starts snowing. That's what I'm talking about. That kind of changing your season. Okay? That kind of cloud. That suka to sebe. Glory elements, working with the elements, okay? That's what we're talking about, okay? Now, let me give you a biblical example in case you're like, woo, you are way out there, okay? John 2, all right, 1 through 12. You can read it in your own time. 
But you know this, or you think you know what I should say. Okay, this is where Jesus performed Hetuvana, the first miracle of turning water to wine, right? And that's what we say. And we stop there. He turned water into wine. Okay? But he did more than change water into wine or turn water into wine. What I'm talking about is exactly what Jesus did. Now, I want you to look at this with spiritual eyes. Okay? I got a suvada. Sit back. All right? Jesus changed the time. Okay? Because when Mary wanted him to do something, all right, he was like, what does this have to do with me? Right? My time hasn't come yet. Ma Suvana. That's what he said. But then she said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Okay? So if it wasn't his time, how did he change water in wine? My God, how did he change water into wine if it wasn't his time? Hmm? How did he do it? Come on, let me see if you know. Type something down there in light of what I just said. How did he do it if it wasn't his time? How? Come on. Let me see where you are spiritually. How did he do it if it wasn't his time? Okay? Any thoughts? How? 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 Let me see. Come on, type something. John 2, 1 through 12. It's not my time. Leave me alone. How'd he do it if it wasn't his time? My father. How'd he do it? He moved out of time. Mm, anything else? I already gave you the answer. It's an open book test. Come on. How did he do it? Suvana, he moved out of time. Somebody said, What else? Come on. Now, y'all know I've been resting. You should have been getting ready. Come on. Muya Zara, come on. All right. How did he do it? It wasn't his time. Because of the grace. To change times. Heaven shifted the time, moved time, changed the time. Because of the grace to change time. Okay, that's how he did it. Daniel 7 and 25. That same grace I talked about earlier. The same grace that he's given me to change your time. Your season. Same grace. Okay, so... He changed the time. It wasn't time, but he changed the time. Okay, now look. He didn't just change the time. He didn't just turn water into wine. My God. But go back to what he said a few minutes ago about changing the cellular and the molecular structure in your life and around you. Okay, now we're talking about water, which is odorless and colorless. And he told them to fill up, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> fill up the pots with water. Now, according to the custom, these were 12 tall pottery type vases that sat around. Okay, the banquet, always ready for the Passover feast. So he told them to fill up 12 of these. Okay? My God. And they did. Okay? 
And it wasn't just 12. Let me go back to my notes. I want to see something. Okay, because I took some notes around this. I want to see something. Okay. I want to muya zana. I want to see something. Okay. Because remember, you got to take a look at the size of the actual. This was a banquet hall. So if you think about a banquet hall, right? Let me see. We got to do some multiplication. I want to see my notes. Okay, this is what I want you to know. We're talking about 120 to 180 gallons of water because each of those 12 pots can, could hold, right? 12 gallons. So we're talking 120 gallons to 180 gallons. It's a guesstimate, okay? Because you know pottery is not always created the same size, same depth, same width, right? Okay, so we're looking at 120 to 180 gallons of odorless, colorless water. They filled it up, and then what did Jesus do? He told the banquet host to let the manager taste it. From the time that the host walked over to the manager to let him taste the water, it was wine. So he changed time and he changed the composition, the cellular structure of a grape. A grape. Now, if you're making wine at home, depending upon what taste you prefer, the grape could ferment from anywhere from six months to a year. So from the time it took the manager to walk the host, to walk to the manager, a year's worth of fermentation took place. He changed time and his season. Do you see that? He didn't just change water to wine. He changed times and seasons. He changed form. He changed the form of water. <sighs> Suvana. Just like water can be ice. Okay. Water takes on different forms. Okay. He changed the form of water into wine. He didn't just, the cute little story, change water to wine. He changed time. And he changed seasons on the spot. I'm describing the ability in glory to control elements. Okay? This is what I'm describing. And there's a link right up there to what I'm sharing with you that happened and where this grace was first opened up. You can see that link. It's the last one. It's bit.ly TX News. Okay? So you can check that out up there. All right, so you can see that. So how are you going to make your request? How are you and your loved ones going to make your request? The link is right up top. It's bit.ly hungry for miracles. Okay, so you're going to go over there. Let me give you a little more detail. It's a form. All you're going to do is fill out the form. Okay, read the page. It's not that long. You're going to put all of your information in there, name, address, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I need your phone number. Why do I need your phone number? You see that, Denise? I need your phone number. Because he might give me some instructions. Just like he gave Jesus some. All right. So I might need to email you. I might need to call you. I might need to reach you or whoever fills this out. Okay. But other than that, I won't be contacting you. Okay. So you can go out, check a look, take a look at that. Check that out. And right now, the other thing I want to talk to you about, the other big announcement and I think Kalima hit on it. She was talking about apostolic foresight and wisdom. And she was right because I'm opening up something that Father has given me called Ascent Strategy Session. So I'm glad you're here uh, because I know that one person here is already going to do this. And this is for people who know what they're called to do, okay, in business and ministry, but they don't know the how yet. They're looking for the how. 
Okay, they're not looking for prophecy, which is a lot of times the what, right? God wants you to do and the gifts that go with doing that. that that's not what this is. Okay, this is apostolic foresight, apostolic counsel, apostolic insight, and strategy. The how is the strategy. Okay, so we're opening this up for sessions for all of 2020. Okay, all of 2020, we'll be doing these sessions. So if you're in business and you need strategy, you're in mis <laughs> ministry, I'm going to say business tree, you need strategy, all right? This These sessions are for you. You have a dream. You have a vision, all right? And you don't know how to bring it to pass. If you've been around us for any period of time, you know I know how to bring some stuff into the now. One of our spiritual daughters and I were talking, <laughs> we were talking, hubby and I and our spiritual daughter one day this week, and she said, wow, I've never seen anybody produce content like this, okay, referring to all the stuff in the Glory School community, all right, so, and you all know, because when that community was first birthed, all right, I went through my whole journey of coming out of nothing, a complete dry brook into that. Okay, so I'm not going to say much more about that, but if you want more detail about us and all of the businesses and ministries over a combination of 50 years that God has graced us to start all the different transitions that we've been through in a lifetime, that link is up there too, Bitly Ascent Strategy Session. Okay, the strategy sessions are going to be some 60 minutes some will be some 90 minutes, okay? And uh, you can do the kind of one offers, you know, like if you get stuck and you need some strategy, you only need 60 minutes, you can do that. If you need a 90 minute, you can do that. If you want us to stay with you for all of a short term, whether it be three months or six months, that's also available. Check that out at the link. You can sign up for all of the information Okay, it will be downloaded to you once you sign up. Okay, so that starts January the 8th. All right, so does the season of miracles, January the 8th to February the 8th. Okay, you know that the podcast starts on the 8th. Okay. And in terms of your request for miracles, okay, you can send that in now up until the 8th, okay? You can keep sending them in, but since you know now, send it, okay? Why dilly-dally, why wait, all right? Now, you may or may not know this, but um, this whole October, November, December, we've been in prayer leading up to this, so it's, mm, I'm excited. It's stupendous. I don't even have any words for awe, shock and awe, real shock and awe, okay? And then release the glory. Okay, release the glory class for those of you who have a mantle of your own and you want to partner with Holy Spirit to learn how to construct that mantle. You want more than event-driven glory that you might see in a service. You want more than a sermon. You want to learn how to release glory yourself. And more importantly than that, you want to learn how to be glory, live in glory every day. That's what this class is for, okay? It is really an invitation. It's going to open you up to living a whole new way. All right? A whole new world. <laughs> All right? So, anywho, um, I think that's it. We have the Ascent Strategy Sessions, 30 Days of Miracles, okay? Release the Glory class. Now, Release the Glory starts on the 8th, too. When's the deadline? The 8th. You can register up until the 8th because it's self-paced, all right? So up until the 8th, you can register for that. Now, let me say something about that, okay? A new Zana. I want to say something about that because some people feel like, wow, I can just, you know, get somebody's book and read on the glory. I can listen to sermons and read on the glory. Everybody's teaching on the glory now. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. What makes this different is that it helps you 
structure your mantle and know the intricacies of it and how it functions so that you can continue to move in that as he sends you out. Okay. So I'm not going to say much more about that, but, um, Bitly release the glory. You can check out the exhaustive outcomes of that class. Okay. I can't wait to see you glorify. You will see the glory on the inside of you. Okay. That was, that's one of the exercises that you will do. Okay. These exercises. Oh, some of you are on type something about the class. Okay. Just say something about the class so that people will kind of know like what makes this different than a book or a sermon or whatever type something. One thing that you uh, took away from the class that, you know, Hey, say something. Okay. And then the podcast, which starts on the eighth. Now, let me tell you something about that podcast. You better get a separate journal. Okay. Just for this podcast. I want you to name it M A A R C P. M-A-A-R-C-B. Make me an accurate reflection of Christ. The whole season focuses on ascension. You will need a notebook. Okay? You're going to need a notebook devoted just to the podcast episodes. All right? So, a lot going on in the spirit here. You see that? Not just about, not, not just about a lot of activity wow busyness all right but real spiritual movement which is one of the other things you'll learn how to do in the class you'll learn how to become a spirit mover you'll learn about the five phases of glory because you all one person said this class will train change transform every area of your life it will okay it will there's so much that you're going to learn about glory you'll learn about the color of glory you'll learn about the five different types of glory I'm telling you, it is just, it's exhaustive. All right. That's all I'm going to say about it. You check it out. Don't be stingy. Okay. This is investment in your life, your calling, your mantle. All right. And quite frankly, um, anything else, life changing and the realness of God's glory. That's right. Let me, let me say this. All right. Um, if you balk at the investment, then you're probably not ready for glory. Okay. Because the truth is, Anything that you want to be, you're going to have to invest in it. The problem is that we've been so used to investing in college and other types of training that we have not become accustomed to quite yet investing in or even have money set aside or even think about investing in the calling that's on our life. And you know, I was raised up just for that purpose because my background is training. And quite frankly, it bothered me. I taught for many years in the church, uh, Bible study, children's church, all kinds of things. And they never had a budget, a budget for anything. All right. I mean, you always had to come out of your pocket for any materials that you wanted to use to teach. And that's a crying out shame. Okay. So God raised me up to teach the body. All right on par with higher education, okay? On par with higher education, all right? So this is higher education here, all right? And you invest in that, just like you'd go to college, okay? I've been able to learn how to live in glory and experience the fruit of this glorious lifestyle, the person who experienced the unity of being in class after the same goal made it for me. Yeah, the community, right? It really is a community. Uh, most people that are on and that go through this class, right? We stay and we have our own private community. The only reason why I'm out here on Facebook is because, um, you all won't come over into the community. <laughs> Quite frankly, I can't get y'all to stay over there. Y'all love this Facebook, but Hey, uh, develop the confidence I didn't have before. All right. So that's it. Any questions about the 30 days of miracles? Any questions, questions about the Ascent strategy sessions that you should get plugged into? Any questions about the podcast? Release the glory. Still writing. Okay. Translation book still writing. 
still writing, still writing, still writing, and still, still experiencing. Okay, so that's it. Okay, I think that's it. Anything else before I pop on off? In and out. If you haven't shared and you just joined, somebody needs a miracle. Share this, please. Don't be stingy. All right? Don't be stingy. And don't be trying to determine who needs a miracle through who. That's none of your business. Share. Mm. If you're here and connected in some way, then obviously God wants somebody connected to you to experience a miracle or else he wouldn't have me doing this. If your connection's bad, go out and come in. It seems like everybody else is fine. You're welcome. All right. Share if you haven't shared. Okay. Listen to it on a replay. Okay. And share then too. Okay. No excuse. Don't give me no excuses. If it were a good restaurant, you share. Some of you are just selfish and stingy. Competitive. Some of you. And some of you won't share because you think you're all that in a bag of chips. You think you're on par. Wow. With me, and that's why you won't share. My God. Yep, yeah, that's why you won't share. And sometimes you won't share because you just, you know, hey, you want to take the information and use it for yourself. You have an agenda of some agenda. Okay. And it's sad because the captives are going to go free whether you share or not. Okay. The truth is you need to be set free if you're like that. Okay. Suvana mo shananana. Okay. Humble. I always say this when I come on here. Okay. Humble yourself. Okay. Every person that ever received the miracle had to humble themselves in some way. Do you know that? Do you know that? Think about how humiliating it must have been for those at the wedding to run out of wine and then have to run around and fill up all those jugs of water. That was humiliating and they had to humble themselves to do that. You see that? Think about that. Naaman had to humble himself and go dip in some water. Okay. Everybody has to humble themselves if you want a miracle. And that includes basic stuff like sharing. Thanks for sharing everyone that did. Okay. Get your notebook. Get your notebook and label it. All right. Get you a notebook. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. M A A R C P. I saw something today, you all, and it blessed me tremendously. Now, you know, I'm a journal person. You know, I write a lot. I saw this product. It's like a tablet and you can literally take your journal notes and turn it into typed documents. Oh, I want one of those. Okay. Because it could save me a lot of typing time. All right. Is there anything else before I go? You know, I like to linger a little bit. And sometimes what I do for those who have hopped off, it's sometimes at the very end, right? Kingdom greetings. Someone said to Apostle Stanley, yep, he's sitting here. Leticia said kingdom greetings. All right. So she said kingdom greetings. So anywho, that happened the last time I was on her, right? I kind of get your notebook ready, good, kind of sit, stay, and then boo, something else happens. All right. Any questions? Thanks for tagging. Denise, Denise, thanks for joining. Everybody, thanks for joining. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Um, Father, we thank you for all that you are doing. We thank you for our new season. Remember, I said, blessed new season. Watch me and the words I use carefully. I did not say blessed new year purposely because he's talking to me about seasons, not years. Regan said hi. Hello, She's a hi. He's a hi, Regan. So, all right. So, Blessed new season. We thank you for this blessed new season. We thank you for, for the times and the seasons that you're going to change in the lives of your people. We thank you for the miracles that are going to come forth. Yes. Wow, is all I can say. We thank you for the sound 
Peri Suvana that has already gone forth into the homes of your people. Yes. We thank you for those who will receive the strategies that they need in their business and in their ministries, the how, moving beyond prophetic counsel and prophetic words, but moving into apostolic insight, foresight, wisdom, and strategy. Okay, we thank you for all that you are doing. We thank you for keeping us yes. in the secret place. Wow. Of the Most High God. Thank you for causing us to abide under your shadow. Because when we do, we are stable. We become stable. We become fixed. Yes. We become unmovable. Yes. Under the shadow. In your presence. We release Psalm 91. And oh, I want to say this. Okay? About the 30 days of miracles. When we were praying, all right, for all of the month of November, he would say he was sending the word. Okay, so I know that I talked about how he's coming to your home. All right, he's going to send his word. That's really what it boils down to. Okay, his word's going to come meet you where you are. So we thank you for sending your word, even sending Psalm 91 now to every house, every house, every house, and every child that we have that's living outside of our home outside of our covering as parents, we send Psalm 91. We thank you for the grace to locate yes. missing children. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the new season. Thank you for provision. Thank you for who you are in our lives. Thank you. We have so much to be thankful for. We're elated about you and about what you're doing. Open our eyes to see what you're doing even the more. Hey, listen, if you are um, what I would say to you, whether you fill out the request for a miracle for yourself or someone else, because you can do that too. Okay, you can fill it out for someone else. Be prayerful, okay? Not that you're not, but I'm saying really over these next 30 days, I want you to see if you can keep in step, Galatians 5.25, with the Spirit, okay? Get syncopated with me, all right? I'm asking you to come into apostolic synchronization with me, all right? So you can stay in tune with what He's doing through us, okay? This is not the time. Wow. To disappear. It's not the time to fall off in a, into a cocoon. All right? Yes. Okay. Stay connected in the spirit. Meet me in the spirit. Okay? Because as you can see, I'm not committing to posting here or being here as much as I had in times past. So that means that your Spirit man has to come up if you want to connect and stay connected. All right, you all. Blessings on your Blessings. evening. Shalom. Shalom.